Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Void by the Neighborhood. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. If you're a beginner, beware. This is all bar chords. But I'm going to teach the <coughs> how to play the chord progression with the bar chords, and then I'm going to show you how you can play the bar chords as a beginner. So we're going to start out here, um, just showing you what the chords are. We've got a G minor, an F, a C minor, a B flat and we actually have a D minor as well. So if you're advanced and you know how to play bar chords, you probably know how to play those chords. Um, so we'll just walk through what the progressions are for both the verse, chorus, and the pre-chorus, and then I'll show you how to play those chords as a beginner. So, we're gonna start out here with our G minor. That's the first chord we play. We're gonna slide down to our F, up to our C minor down to our B flat. And I like to add in a little finger picking after each chord, so starting on this G minor here, I'll pick, and I'll go G, B, G on that F chord. So just pick on the G minor, slide down to your F, do that little finger picking, then come up to your C minor, down to your B flat, picking on the B flat. And that's the first progression. So it's just G minor, F, C minor, B flat, G minor, F, C minor, B flat. Now the other progression that's in the pre-chorus um, goes like this. It goes F, C minor, then we go to our G minor, up to our D minor. So that progression is F, C minor, G minor, D minor. And that's both the progressions. So the original progression, this one, that's also played in the chorus. So that's the chorus and the verse progression, and then the other progression is for the pre-chorus. So, that's it for the progressions. Now if you're a beginner, I'd like to show you how you can play this um, without using bar chords. So they're basically just, uh, you're, you're picking all the same notes in these chords, but you're not barring the chords, so it's a little easier to play. So let's start out here with the um, D minor and the C minor chords. These are easy ones to do. So what you're gonna do for your C minor is you're gonna have your index finger on the third fret of the A, Middle fingers on the second fret of the, sorry, not the second fret, the fourth fret of the B string. Ring fingers on the fifth fret of the D, and your pinkies on the fifth fret of the G. And you're gonna just play those four strings. You don't want to play this high E, and you don't want to play this low E. <clears throat> you can slide that shape all the way up here to the fifth fret for your D minor. So those are two ways to play those chords without having to bar them. You don't get that high E note in there, but that's okay. <clears throat> so to play your G minor and your F, um, this is one pretty easy way to do it. You can just make them a power five chord instead of the whole bar. So now you're just playing your, for your G minor, your index is gonna be on your third fret of the low E. Index and your ring, or sorry, your ring finger and your pinky are on the fifth fret of the A and the D just play those top three strings. So that's your G minor, and if you slide that shape down to the first fret, there's your F minor. <clears throat> and for your B flat, you can do the same thing, just shift from your F, just shift every single finger down one string, and that's your B flat. But just play your A, D, and G strings. So how does that sound <coughs> compared to the original? So this is how it sounds with the um, non-bar chords. So it's pretty close. <clears throat> you just have to be careful which strings you're playing and how exactly you are picking. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials and you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.